Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Red Devil Hill for a homestand that's going to be short-lived as the Jackson Red Devils will have one home game before they hit the road again. But tonight, they're going to take on the 5-1 Wolfpack of Woodland High School. Both teams come in undefeated in the region. This is the Fox 5 in-your-face game once again. Jackson's second time this season. You'll remember last time was on the road at Mary Persons in that 21-6 victory. Tonight, they will look for more of the same as that defense will look to shut down if they're giving up 20 points to a South Atlanta team last week. Very, very scary trouble on the uh, kick coverage. That is probably something that Coach Paris worked on in practice this week. The kids are out of school. Hopefully their minds still focus as Woodland comes in hot and looking to try to pull home a region championship. This game, like we saw Woodward last year, could have region championship implications. Woodward, the other team undefeated in the region. Woodland, a team that knocked off Mary Persons earlier in the season. They did it 24 to 6, so both teams come in evenly matched, it seems, on paper. Jackson with that high power defense. Woodland, a very good pass attack. So that secondary, Corey Ridley, uh, Orterio Watts, a couple of others going to have to be on their toes tonight. We'll see how they fare as we'll take a short break and we'll be right back with kickoff. You're watching Jackson High School Football on Sports in the South, your hometown sports network. Spotted just at the 10, an acrobatic play there. Hayes, a good job rolling out and putting that ball where only Neron can get it. And Neron showed his athleticism there to come down with that one. And then it was all quick from there. Griffin blew the hole open straight in the middle, and then he bounced it out to the wide side where they had no wide receivers and therefore no corners, and Jackson gets a touchdown with 3.43 to go as Staples on for the extra point attempt now. Calton to hold, Johnson will snap it. Calton brings the troops back over. And what a run there by McKibben to separate this lead a little bit. Staples now on for the extra point. Straight in and not let McKibben get loose and he threw a perfect strike to Chris Head, and it's going to be first and goal for the Red Devils. We saw it against Mary Persons from Calton. When you let that man get over the middle untouched, you can kiss him goodbye. That kind of speed, he's going to take it every time, and he does it once again, and the Red Devils strike again here in the third quarter. Staples on to attempt the extra point. Calton to hold, Johnson to snap. Even without the 53-yard run, that one a lot of shaking and baking and then showed his power from about the four-yard line and took in about three Woodland High School defenders with him. And a great run there and a good block over on the far side by his wide receiver to set that one up and get him inside. That one was just overthrown and Marciano Allen just put a nail in the coffin of Woodland High School. What a pick and then he takes it right up the sidelines in front of Woodland's bench. And you can see here, teammates congratulating him. Good for the final time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Kevin Lewis with your post-game recap. In the second half, it was the same as the first half, just with a little bit more scoring, but it was all Red Devils. Quint McKibben ended the night with three total touchdowns, two in the second half. Matthew Hayes also completed one to Q Stillwell. Stillwell took it the rest of the way as they went over 50 yards for the score. Your final score, 31 to nothing, as Jackson pitches their first shutout of the season. Something we expected to see a little bit more of early, but they picked their first one here in a big game that could have had region championship implications, depending on what they do against Woodward and how Woodward does throughout the rest of the season. That matchup is shaking up, shaping up to be big here at Red Devil Hill. We got three weeks to prepare. Next week, it's Eagles Landing. Hey, struggling on the season. You can't overlook them, though. And with the bye week behind it, that's probably a good thing. That way, they will be focused on Eagles Landing and then have two weeks to prepare for Woodward as they will come to Red Devil Hill. Tonight's player of the game has got to go to somebody on defense. And who better than middle linebacker Dylan Smith? He had a great game, did a great job commanding that defense and getting back there. Timing blitz is perfect. Him, along with Charlie Alley, did a great job of making their presence known, opening up lanes for Jamal Akil and Neron Ball to force themselves back there and drop Williams on his back a couple of times. Williams came up with some big stops, or excuse me, Smith came up with some big stops up the middle and did a great job, again, commanding his troops. Congratulations to number 40, Dylan Smith. We'll see if we can get an interview with you when we head to Stockbridge next week. So until next time, when I spit it out my mouth, it's Sports in the South, brought to you by RVNR Video Productions. For our producer, O. Curtis White, I'm Kevin Lewis signing off. We'll see you next week on Jackson High School Football on Sports in the South, your hometown sports network.